The first day of the NFL's legal tampering period ended with the Pittsburgh Steelers losing two big names to free agency. Bud Dupree signed a five-year, $82 million deal with the Tennessee Titans, while Matt Filer signed a three-year, $21 million deal with the LA Chargers. So which one is a bigger surprise? Some people might say Bud Dupree earning $32 million guaranteed, $16.5 million a year is way too much money, but they're wrong. Bud Dupree is worth every penny. He's a double-digit sack edge rusher who, if he didn't tear his ACL in 2020, would have been an all-pro, definitely would have been a pro bowler, and people wouldn't even have been talking about whether or not he's a top three free agent edge rusher. So here we are. He got, he got the bag. He earned every bit of money that he should have earned. And truthfully, if you've watched Bud Dupree grow over the last five years, you know that he earned every bit of that money. Matt Filer, on the other hand, is a guy who I could have saw coming back to the Steelers on a very low end deal. A, I don't want to say disastrous 2020 season, but a very below expectation 2020 season should have lowered what his money should be. Instead, he heads to LA on a $7 million a deal, a year deal to protect a second year quarterback. That means the Chargers are investing in him. Whether that means he's playing guard or tackle, we'll learn. But really, $7 million a year for either position is a great amount of money for somebody who didn't have a good year in 2020 after moving positions. Now he has to either go back to tackle or stay at guard, which he kind of struggled at, and relearn a new offense. $7 million a year seems a bit high. But again, when Matt Filer plays well, he's worth all of that money. The Steelers did lose two big names, but as we move into day two of the legal tampering period, we'll look for Mike Hilton and Juju Smith-Schuster to headline the day. I believe at least one of them will likely sign with the Steelers or with another team, and then we'll move on into Wednesday as teams can officially begin signing players and see where the Steelers go from there. Zach Banner is another name that jumped on Twitter last night just to let everybody know that he's back, kind of warning us, hey, a contract is likely done, and it's likely done with the Steelers. So keep a close eye on that. Watch for Bud Dupree to dominate again in 2021, and look for the Steelers to maybe add another name as we move closer to Wednesday at 4 p.m.